All right, breaking news. AMC's movie ticket website is back up and running at this hour after a massive surge in demand for the first ever Spider-Man non-fungible token crashed it last night. AMC CEO Adam Aaron started it all with the announcement over the weekend that the world's largest movie theater chain is partnering with Sony to offer free NFTs to AMC Stubbs members who buy advanced tickets for Spider-Man no Way Home's debut. He said, this idea coming from you, meaning his retail investors. The offer started at midnight, but the minute AMC offered, and here's one of them on the screen, 100 unique NFTs to the first 86,000 online presale ticket buyers. The announcement triggered an influx of online traffic to AMC's website, causing the crash as customers tried to get their hands on the unique digital artwork. AMC shares are in the red for a second straight session after the new Omicron coronavirus variant fears rocked the theater industry on Friday. But here to talk about all of it in a Fox Business exclusive is AMC Entertainment Chairman and CEO Adam Aaron. Adam, are the, are the Spider-Man NFTs sold out? Let's get that news out of the way. Well, I've got to tell you, Liz, um, by the way, about 98 percent of what you said was totally true. Okay. I'll correct the one thing that wasn't. Um, we announced yesterday at noon an idea that we've been working on for uh, months and months. It came to us from our retail shareholders. You know, they're in love with cryptocurrency, and they've educated me that Boy, what a really interesting idea would be to create an NFT around a big movie or movies. We talked to Sony. We found a, a blockchain expert in Wax, uh, a leader who was really energy efficient. And we decided we were going to come up with 100 different NFTs, more than 100 NFTs, for the new Spider-Man No Way Home uh, movie. Uh, we announced it yesterday at noon. Yeah. And it's like we broke the Internet. Uh, I tweeted it yesterday. My tweets in the last 24 hours have been read three and a half million times. The traffic we had to our website and mobile app last night were the highest that AMC has ever seen wow. in our entire history. Uh, we sold more tickets in the overnight shift than we've ever sold in an overnight shift before. And I mean, we're talking massive surges above normal. But what I'm really proud of is to tell you that our website never crashed. Okay, it but it slow. got very slow. But it was slow, but it didn't crash. It did function all the way through. Uh, wait times were long for about an hour or an hour and a half. Uh, but people got through the whole way through. And like we've sold, uh, uh, I, it's look, it's Sony's movie. It's for them to tell you the numbers, not me. But okay. I'll just tell you that we sold. Boatloads and boatloads and boatloads of tickets. I am sure this is going to be the biggest movie of the year. Uh, and it's highly anticipated. And if you're an AMC guest, you might be one of those lucky ones who got 86, one of the 86,000 of our Spider Man No Way Home NFTs that we launched for ticket buyers last night. Okay, so you didn't crash, but but can, can we sh split the 2% difference on where I was wrong? Because I was seeing from a lot of people on Twitter that they were getting error messages once they spent the 45 bucks on the tickets that they had bought. Will they eventually get an NFT if they were in line fairly enough and, and managed to book yeah, we, when one was available? Yeah, we ought to be able to make that happen. Okay. I'm not worried about that. Um, uh, but. Um, but as I said, literally, um, it's a huge number of tickets <laughs> that we sold. Uh, the 86,000 NFTs were just for members of our VIP programs, AMC Stubbs Premier, A-List, Inve AMC Investor Connect. We sold far more than that uh, wow. last night um, because the demand is not just coming from people in our VIP groups. but. The demand for this movie is going to be huge. Okay, but you're saying that you've never sold this many tickets upon a release overnight on the website ever. So this is a record breaker so far. Yes, it was. Uh, uh, Avengers Endgame was a daytime release. Right. So at some point during the day, uh, I think Avengers Endgame would pass Spider-Man uh, No Way Home, but it's really close. And the point is, it's a really big movie. Uh, it's going to be a really big movie, and we sold a tremendous okay. amount of tickets. The interest in the AMC NFT is off the charts. The interest in the movie is off the charts. And, you know, this is part of a trend that's been going on since last February. 
If you look at the visitation to AMC movie theaters, it was much larger mm -hmm. in the second quarter than it was in the first quarter, much larger in the third quarter than it was in the second quarter. The fourth quarter is not over yet, but October was huge. And we did say on our last earnings call that we expected the fourth quarter to be bigger than the third quarter. If you look at the flood of movies that are uh, going to be in our theaters in December, Maverick. it's mind-blowing. <laughs> you get the Thanksgiving movies of Encanto and Ghostbusters Afterlife and how Gucci will still be around. Three huge new movies released in a couple of weeks. Uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, of course, Sing 2 and the new Matrix movie. There are some really interesting sequels and remakes like the third Kingsman movie uh, and Stephen Sondheim's but Adam, uh, this redo idea. of West Side Story. And just if I can squeeze two more in, we also have some original movies like American Underdog, which is the Kurt Warner story, famous NFL quarterback who was a right. came from nowhere to be a Super Bowl MVP. And maybe my favorite of them all, because it's uh, written and directed by Aaron Sorkin, but more importantly, it stars our very own Nicole Kidman, heroine of the AMC television right, commercials, right, sure. in being the Ricardos. There could be a lot of great movies that are coming into our theaters. In Adam, the they're, they're going to cut me off, but I, I just want to quickly ask, you've had so many great ideas. This is almost like the Happy Meal digital version of the toys with in conjunction with movies. But any other ideas, any plans on, say, a digital uh, dividend or anything like that? Any other ideas? Well, uh, our documents don't allow us to issue a dividend until well into 2022. So all dividend decisions are for another day, not for now. But we have a lot of ideas. Crypto is one. Yep. Uh, NFTs is another. You know, we announced a big expansion of our business to go into the $6 billion popcorn industry. Okay. And we're working on a, an array of other ideas, which if we can make them happen okay. to grow our shield of value, you'll be hearing more about them in 2022. Please join us again. Adam Aaron in a Fox Business exclusive.